getting into the final hand sanding, if you don't get every scratch out with the previous paper, you'll never get it out with the sequential one. So I can't move to 600 until every scratch left over from the 220 has been taken out by the 400. Now the front, yes, even though I already took this up to 600, I'm going over it again down to 400, back to 6, and then I'll take it to 1,000, 1,200, up to 1,500. One of the most important aspects of this stage is to determine the size hole you're going to need. What are you stringing through it? In this case, I'm using an extremely strong waxed uh, nylon cordage. I checked the size against this drill bit, which is much, much finer than 1 16th. I positioned it just right, apparently, because I've got my holes right here. Um, I was about a half a millimeter off, but that's not bad. So it's about 8 point, sorry, about 0.85 instead of 0.9 between those two. Came out very well on the inside within the four millimeter uh, height that I had to work with. Same on this side. And when you <clears throat> go through it, you'll see that it's very level. That's extremely important. Likewise, the bottom one. Very level. And we make sure to, to clean out the holes a little bit. So that my string, my cordage, will pass smoothly through that. Now the other thing I did was I made a diagram Because I was nervous about getting this right, that was why I simply cut it and then put uh, crazy glue to hold the beads in place. But now I'm getting to the point where I'm actually going to have to unstring it and string it. So just to be sure, I made a diagram of it and I also took pictures of it. As you can see, it's taken a lot of very finicky work to get to this point and this gets to be probably the most rewarding part. These contours that are so tricky to get to, I used a very fine uh, polishing point to get in there. Uh, also inside the trunk, very difficult spot. And I also have taken the brush, being very careful not to hit the metal on the wood, and gone over some of these contours here to really get them to shine. So I'm going to take some of the wax, rub it in with my fingers. And if you've done everything right and you've gotten scratches out from the previous level, this is where all the gratification comes in. more porous woods with less density are not going to take a polish like rosewood does. So now I'm going to hit it with cloth. The friction creates heat, allows the wax to get into the very hard grain. Now we're starting to see what our little guy is going to look like. And he's a beauty. Look at that.